All right, let's go here. Let's, let's look at this. Uh, what you can do here, guys and gals, you can have three time frames up with these arrows. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is, is you can use a larger time frame to see the trend. I mean, let's just take market profile out of the subject real quick. We talked about this yesterday. Let's just look at trading just the arrows on three different Renko bars and how they work together. What you can do is you can put a nine sim, your large time frame to the left, just to see what the overall trend is. Look at the MAs, an angle down, good spread on the NASDAQ futures this morning. Then what you can do is you can put the five beside it. This is a five sim Renko, an intermediate time frame, and then you do a three sim, which is a smaller time frame. Now, the reason you go left to right is, is left would be the overall trend of the market since it's such a large Renko bar. I'm not so much concerned with getting arrows on this, which it did give an arrow here. But what I like to see is, is I like to see it butt up against, I like to see it butt up against these MAs price. Like here was an arrow sell, here's an arrow sell. And if it butts up against this also, it happened on the uh, crude oil yesterday on a deep retracement called the high, is that you get arrows on the smaller time frames on these deep retracements because we know we like taking these deep retracements right here. Here's two NASDAQ future trades just happened, beautiful trades. And then three sim also in the direction of the overall trend. So when you get these trades off the three, that are in conjunction, lining up with deep retracements on the five or the nine, you got three time frames working in synergy together. And that's the beauty of trading three time frames. You can actually put a nine, five, and three together beside each other and have synergy between the markets. And that's without even looking at market profile. And you can really tear, tear some of these markets apart doing this because you're getting overall trend concept. If we are downtrend on a nine sim Renko and I'm retracing up like yesterday crude oil had to retrace up I gave you the number it was a huge retracement had to retrace up to I was like guys it's got to retrace back up I think it was 70 73 or something like that and sure enough it retraced 50 points up to it stopped and it tanked right so you can use large time frames to find trend context and then you can choose the intermediate time frame to see when the arrows fire in a deep retracement for entries and a short time frame to fire also. You got big trades on the Dow and the NASDAQ futures like that again. It happens like this in all markets. So it gives you places to spot in the market where you can trade off of also. But what I like to see, like I said, is I like to see when we're coming up or down like right here. If I'm trading the NASDAQ futures and I see we're crossed up, you see that little retracement right there off the large time frame? I'm looking for the, that the right there and right here. I'm looking for the five sim Renko to have a full retracement or a, a retracement here on the three sim because that's a hot spot in a hard trading market. What I really like to see is I like to see the five and the three are five and the nine trending way away from the MAs, touch them and get an error on the three. That means you're in a hard, hard trend. What that allows you to do too, allows you to stay out of shop markets. So if I go over here on the nine, for example, let me just show you. So let's say I'm trading a large nine cent, a, a, a Rinko. And I get a retracement here, retracement here, retracement here, retracement here. On these deep retracements, I'm looking for right here too, I'm looking for an arrow in the five or three. I'm looking, the arrows fired here, here, the new templates we have out that we're keeping all this year, next year going forward, these arrows are going to fire on these large time frames now. So that's great the arrows fire, those are entries too, but I'm looking for more of retracements also where the five and the three can fire on a deep retracement off a large time frame. Okay? And you can trade like that going forward. So if I look right here in the NASDAQ futures again, what is it doing? It's still firing off of large time frame right there. So what you would do is look for synergy over here on the smaller time frame and sure enough on that retrain fired off the five sim. That's an entry. See how, see how the synergy works together? The five sim retracement off a large time frame retracement. Now you can do the three sim. The three sim is a smaller time frame and the three sims, oh, 
when we were cranking down this morning, the Dow had a huge trade here also. When we're cranking down here this morning, if this is touching a five or, or nine sem retracement, these are great trades off the three sem because you have synergy. So this is a huge short on the Dow this morning, just a massive move here, and it all correlated with the nine and five cent. All right, so you can use three time frames. Here's another one that's firing right now, the three sim with overall trend context. You see how that came right up to the uh, MA on the large time frame, butted its head, and then all of a sudden we get an arrow short. So you can use three time frames, and that's even without market profile. That's not, that's not even including market profile at all. That's not even knowing how to trade market profile. That's just using three large time frames, a large, intermediate, and a small to fire in the market on a retracement. But remember, these arrows fire because you're in a sweet spot in the market on a retracement. So it's a really neat way how you guys can trade. We'll go over a workshop with that for, for your members. Here, Gerald's going to get the final template out to everybody. The reason we're getting the final template out to everybody because it fires more retracements off of it fires more retracements off of the larger time frames now. So if I look right here, what we got here on, on crude right now, look on crude. What we have here on crude is we have what? What I was doing here is I retraced not only on the deep retracement off the deep retracement off the five and the three, but you got confluence on the arrows too. You got nice confluence showing a nice little deep retracement. And that's how we can do it. We can use these, you can use a larger time frame to fire in these trades. I mean, to get overall trend context or trend direction, and then you can use the five and the three to fire your arrows in. Like if I show you the nine real quick, Gerald, before you shut this off, if I show you the nine on crude, nine Simrenko, let me show you how you get synergy. This is, you can pick the market apart like this, guys and gals. It's pretty crazy. Let me show you the nine Simrenko on crude. This is without market profile. Let me just slide this over here. Now, if I'm a trader of crude, is that an uptrend or downtrend in crude this morning? Am I an uptrend or downtrend in crude going into the day off of a 9 sim Renko? Look, we have a 9 sim Renko, 9 sim Renko, 30 days back. These are all the same settings, by the way. The template that Gerald's getting out to you, they're all the same settings. But check this out. Look at my methodology. You think this is a hot spot in the market to go short crude? Happened yesterday like this, too, on the high, swing high. You think that's a hot spot in the market to go short? Now, check this out. See how it's rolling? And that's a long-term arrow. The new template getting out to you. It had an arrow short. Now, check this out, right? Look how my five and three fired. And look how my five and three fired on this retracement. So 30 was my inflection point. Here it was. So there, your short crude. Why? Five sim fired exactly where? It fired exactly right on my what? My five sim retracement. Look at the trade we got. Did it do on the three sim? It sure did. Pretty cool, huh? You can do that with all markets right across the board. You can have a nine, five, and three setting up with each other without even looking at market profile. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, learn how to trade market profile inside and outside of HV and LVA. Then you got yourself one hell of a trading program. All right? So we can use the nine to look for retracements. Now, what happened on crude yesterday was this. Crude came up yesterday and did what? Here's what I was saying to look for in the market. I said, look for this retracement. Look how it caught the high right there off the 9 sim. And that, the 5 sim fired right here. Huge trade. It's almost a 75 tick trade off the 9 sim retracement. And that's what I called in the morning to look for. And went right up to it, 75 tick hit. So you can use the nine, not necessarily to see if the arrow's going to fire, which they will. This new program, the arrows will fire like crazy on this thing now. 
caught the high here, caught the high here, caught the low here, caught the low here, caught the low there. So I have a large time frame. They'll position trade this. That's what we're getting this final template out to you guys and gals. I mean, look at this trade we got going now. But you can use these, these templates to look to trade off these longer MAs and see if the arrow fire on the shorter MAs for confluence. It's a beautiful thing. Look at this trade. She's rocking and rolling right now. She's cranking down. Look at the one on gold right now we got rolling. Same exact concept. Went right up to the nine retracement, but it's head, and now she's rock, rocking down too.